we're going to do a pitch meeting reaction part three. Here we go. This is a pitch meeting for Frozen 2. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Yeah, so I got your email and I have to ask, what kind of a title is frozen -E -E? Is that a Is that a pasta or something? Oh, actually, no, it's Frozen 2, but the 2 is in Roman numerals. Oh, Roman numerals, very fancy, although I do think the movie should be in English. Yeah, no, it will be. Well, great, I mean, the first Frozen movie made over a billion dollars, so... You know, let's do it. But I haven't even told you about the movie yet. Yeah, I don't think that'll be necessary. You know, refresh the brand, sell some new merch. Sounds good to me. I'm sold. Okay, well, can I tell you about it? Um... Yeah, no, you know, yeah, no, I should know what it's about. Okay. So what happens in this thing? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff, but to be honest, it was a little tricky to figure out. Oh, how come? Well, the first movie was supposed to be a one-time thing. It pretty much ended with, and then they live happily ever after. Right, but then money happened. But then money happened, so in this one we have to be like, yeah, they lived happily ever after, but... The movie's a but? The movie's a but. Oh, butts are tight. Some are, yeah, for sure. For sure. So anyway, we're gonna start the movie off with a flashback of Anna and Elsa's parents telling Telling them some bedtime exposition. Okay. So they're gonna tell them about an enchanted forest and a mystical river. They're just gonna take turns dropping a bunch of information before the title card even shows up. Wow, okay. Well, I guess it'll be nice to get all the exposition out of the way at the beginning. Oh, no, it's pretty much gonna be continuous throughout the whole thing. Oh, it is. Yeah, see, I'm trying to expand the mythology of the Frozen universe, so that means explaining things to the audience for extended periods of time. Well, okay then. So anyway, then Elsa gets the, you know, call to adventure as they say say in screenwriting books. Okay, so what's the call to adventure in this movie? Literally a voice calling her to adventure. It's this mysterious singing voice. A mysterious singing voice? What does that sound like? Well, it kind of sounds like... Oh my god. You have the voice of an angel. Thank you. So anyway, that's gonna lead into this song called Into the Unknown. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Elsa's gonna sing about how she's not interested in following this voice, but then by the end of the song, she's gonna be like, yeah, no, okay, let's do this. Wow, 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 wow. And then we're gonna have a new song every three or four minutes till the end of the movie. Oh, we are. Yeah, well, Let It Go was such a big hit in the first movie that I figure if we just throw a bunch of songs out there, maybe one of them will stick. Sounds like a good strategy to me. So anyway, then Arendelle gets messed up by these elemental spirits, and Elsa's got a head into the enchanted forest. Okay. And so, you know, Anna and Olaf and Kristoff and Sven go with her. Why did they go with her? Well, because they were in the first movie. Right, but like story-wise. Well, they were in the first movie. Oh, okay. So then they go to this magical, mystical barrier at the edge of a forest that they have to go through. Ugh, sounds like the movie Annihilation. Yeah, it's like Annihilation, but less horrifying. Very cool. So then they're gonna meet these, like, native people called the Northuldra, as well as some soldiers from Arendelle that have been trapped inside for years. Wow. Yeah, just this amazing cast of new characters that have less than five lines apiece and almost no impact on the events of the film. I bet they'll look good on a lunchbox, though. They're gonna look great on a lunchbox. Great. And eventually we're gonna find out that Elsa and Anna's grandfather was responsible for killing a bunch of these Northuldra people and taking their land. Oh, no. Yeah, see, because the first movie was really good, but I always felt like it could have used a hint of colonialism and implied genocide. That certainly wasn't covered in the first movie, for sure. So basically the main characters are gonna have to figure out how to lift this curse. So who's, like, the big villain in this thing? No villain sir, just a vague curse that needs to be lifted. Oh, okay. So then throughout the movie, the characters are gonna encounter a bunch of magical-related problems. Oh man, is it gonna be hard to solve those? Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, every time a magical problem arises, it'll be solved by some other magic that exists because I decided it did. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. And so what is Olaf up to this whole time? Oh, well, he's pretty much doing the same thing he did in the first movie. Chiming in once in a while to try and sell merchandise to children? That's right. I love it. We're also gonna discover that one of the elements they're dealing with, fire, is actually a cute little lizard available wherever toys are sold. Amazing. And what's Kristoff up to this whole time? Well, he's trying to propose to Anna, but he keeps phrasing it badly and messing it up. Okay. So. Oh, that's it? Yeah, just that. Over and over and over again. Yeah, sounds kind of repetitive. Yeah, I didn't know what to do with him, so I gave him a storyline from a 90s sitcom and then sidelined him for the last 40 minutes. Fair enough. As long as he's in it, I guess, because he was in the first movie. He was in the first movie. 
that's right. So how does the movie end? Well, in the whole movie, there are these elemental spirits, right? Earth, water, wind, and fire. But we're also saying that there's a fifth mysterious bridge one. Okay. And in the end, we're going to find out that Elsa is that final spirit. Aren't her powers kind of water powers, though, because of what ice is? Listen, I'm not a scientist. Oh, you're not? Okay, sorry. That was rude of me to bring up. So anyway, Elsa realizes that to lift this curse that the spirits put on everybody, they need to break this dam that her grandfather built. Okay, okay. But we need to have Anna do something because she was in the first movie, so Elsa's literally gonna freeze. So how does Anna manage to break the dam? Well, she lures these rock giants over to the dam and they bust it open. Very cool. So then all this water is rushing towards Arendelle, which, by the way, has been evacuated. Wow, well, it's gonna be cool to actually have some consequences for the horrible thing those people did to the North Uldra. Well, actually, Elsa's gonna swoop in and stop the water, so no consequences at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I think that would be too politically charged or whatever, so no consequences at all. Everybody gets a happy ending. That sounds safer, and I'm into it. Yeah, so what do you think overall? Do you think it's gonna do well? Well, let me ask you something. Are the characters and the brand name gonna appear on the posters? They will, yeah. Then it's gonna be just fine. Oh. Alright, you know, it's true. I saw that Frozen 2 movie, and I even thought at the time when I watched it, there were so many songs. It was crazy. It was like every few minutes there would be talk, dialogue, that would interrupt the music. And then it's back to the music. It, I thought it was a little excessive. There was one song, I forgot the name of it now, but there was one or two good good songs on the soundtrack. But it's, it, what he says is so true. And it's funny because he's he pointing out that's what's so funny about it is what he says is true about the movie it was just a cash cow that's all it was it was these little cute you know figures whatever so you could sell merchandise that's all it was and it's unfortunate because frozen was unique and it was uh i like the first one better than the second one the second one was all right but the first one was definitely much better i thought Okay, well, I hope you enjoy this video reaction. You guys have a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.